Okay, I'm going to consider a thing called Young's inequality. Actually, it's a special case of Young's inequality, but the, the, the full case requires a whole bunch of calculus. So uh, I'm just going to stick to this. Um, I'm basically going to consider uh, X and Y are positive, and I'm going to consider numbers A and B, which are positive as well. Actually, they've got to be strict. Uh, and I'm going to consider x and y, and I'm going to consider x to the power a and y to the power b, and I'm going to consider that sum there. And I want to make this a weighted arithmetic mean. In order to make it weighted, I need to restrict, say that 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 1. I'm just going to require that. So now, it's a weighted arithmetic mean. So 1 over a x to the a plus 1 over b y to the power b. We've got this restriction here that 1 over a plus 1 over b is, um, is equal to 1. That is greater than or equal Two, let's get it right. It's x to the power a, x to the power b, and we want to take a weighted geometric mean of those two guys. So to make it weighted, we're weighting it by 1 over a and 1 over b. That's not right. Let me try that again. Oops. 1 over b. Okay, let me just write that out in a slightly different format. This is lambda x to the alpha plus mu y yeah, mu y to the b is greater than or equal to x to the power a to the power lambda times y oh I've got an x there that should be a y y to the power b to the power mu where lambda plus mu equals 1, and they're both positive. That's all that is. All I'm doing is having this inequality here, but with the special case that lambda is 1 over a and mu is 1 over b. That's all I've got there. Okay, so we don't need that. Let's just go through here. Uh, so we've got 1 over a x to the power a plus 1 over b x to the power b greater than or equal to x to the a to the 1 over a, y to the power b to the 1 over b, which equals x, y. So writing it in the conventional way that you usually see it is x, y less than or equal to 1 over a, well, let's write it out a bit more neatly, x to the a over a plus y to the power b over b, provided that 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 1. And this thing here is called Young's, Young's inequality. Let's just play around with it. We've got 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 1. So let's just have a think about that. If I make a equals 2, then that would mean that b equals 2 as well. How about a equals 3? So we've got 1 third plus 1 over b equals 1. So 1 over b equals 2 thirds. So b equals 3 over 2. a equals 2 and b equals 3 over 2. Yeah. Is that right? So 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 1 half plus, now I've cocked it up, haven't I? What have I got wrong here? What have I got wrong? What have I done wrong here? a equals 2, so 1 over b equals a half. Ugh. Cocked something up here. I don't know what, I'm, what am I doing wrong here? 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 1. And I'm going to specify that a equals 3. So 1 over 3 plus 1 over b equals 1. So 1 over b equals 2 thirds. So b equals 3 over 2. So 1 over a plus 1 over b equals a third plus 2 thirds equals 1. Thank goodness for that. Okay. 
So we've got A and B, we've got a nice set of values for A and B, 3 and uh, 3 over 2. And I'm just going to write down Young's inequality. That says that xy is less than or equal to x cubed over 3 plus y to the power 3 over 2 uh, over 3 over 2. So multiplying top and bottom by 3, in fact, multiplying the whole thing by 3, 3xy is less than or equal to x cubed plus 2y uh, root y. 3xy is less than or equal to x cubed plus 2y root y. I guess we could say instead of root y, we could say that root y equals, let's say, z. Yeah, so y equals z squared. What have we got then? 3xz squared is less than or equal to x cubed plus uh, 2z cubed. That's quite nice, isn't it? 3xz squared less than or equal to x cubed plus 2z cubed. Is that right? Squared, yeah, it looks about right to me. All right. Let's, let's muck around with it some more. Let's muck around with it some more. X cubed plus 2z cubed greater than or equal to 3xz squared. So x cubed over xz squared plus 2z cubed over 3xz squared greater than or equal to 3. I'm just playing with it. So that's saying that x over, sorry, x squared over z squared plus, I didn't mean to divide by the 3 there, 2z over x greater than or equal to 3. Well, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. That kind of that kind of inequality there. I, I want to encourage you to do this, just to fool around with inequalities that you see. Um, where it came from is I've got Young's inequality, which is yada la la la. It's not terribly exciting, but let's just fool around with it, and, and we, we prove quite a powerful, quite a powerful inequality just by fooling around with it, just by putting the very simplest values in there. I also want to encourage you to do and observe what I've just done, which is to cock it up. I've got these A's and B's wrong. Remember I had two and I think I wrote the three down and the two and I forgot to write it up. It's very important to go through that process and get yourself confused by it because it really does make it stick in your mind. Young's inequality. We've got this very, very nice little, very nice little, um, very nice little inequality. X squared over Z squared. What happens if X is really, 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 really small? Ah, but then it's on the bottom here. What happens if x is... That's quite nice, that, isn't it? That's quite a nice little inequality, that. Ah, I could see how we could have got it easier, but anyway, it's quite nice, quite, quite nice inequality. I'm going to stop there. Young inequality. Done.